Hello Capricorn, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. Today I'm doing your weekly law reading from April 8 to 13, okay? So this is a general love reading. Take what resonates with you, leave rest. These messages are not for you, not for everyone, okay? So let's see what's happening for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Love. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Triple Two Tarot. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Details are also given on my channel, guys. Let's see what's happening for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Love. Just give me the theme card for um, Capricorn. What's happening for you in love right now? Okay. The theme card. Soulmate. Okay, I don't need any card. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, Capricorn. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And make the effort. Make the effort. This is beautiful. Okay. So, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. It looks like you are trying to move, you are you are taking action or they are trying to take action toward these romantic feelings and love. I'm also seeing here a lot of chemistry, a lot of kissing. Much, 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 much kissing. Okay. What I'm seeing here, yeah, romantic feelings. Someone kiss you, someone wants to kiss you, someone wants to hug you, someone wants to tell you that how they're feeling because they feel like, oh soulmate someone really wants to you know like look at this picture what i'm getting here someone really just want to be cozy with you they just want to cuddle you they want to hug you they want to kiss you this close look at this oh my god why my camera is not this is beautiful capricorn look at this capricorn wow wow Someone definitely want to hug you. Someone want to kiss you. Like, they just want to be with you. Because they're feeling like, wow, I'm just getting the energy. It's like, oh. This is like, you know, angels are helping to, helping this union with the soulmate. Okay. Let's see. What's the normal tarot deck is saying towards you? Okay, what is your recent past Capricorn with this person? Oh, a lot of things. I will not take it. I will do it again. Okay. Recent past in love, Capricorn. I'm getting the song here. I don't know what this song is, but I'm seeing that. With the soulmate and with this, I'm getting a lot. Like, um, they're saying to you that I see the universe in you. I see the universe in you. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm just getting this phrase. Wow. Someone is definitely in love with you. They're seeing you as a soulmate. Or it could be possible this is your energy Capricorn towards someone that you are just into your feelings. You just want to be with them at any cost. Let's see what's your recent past. Yeah, the Hermit. It could be possible you're dealing with Virgo. That ma that makes sense now. Okay. This is your recent past. You isolated from this love. Okay. Because they were not coming toward you. It could be possible Capricorn. You were dealing with the Cancer with the Chariot here. Okay. Because this person not was not coming towards you. They were not offering you the partnership. They were not offering you the love. Uh, you are not seeing the success with, in this connection with this person. Ten of swords you are here. Yeah, this is your past. It looks like you are get you are trying to get over from this love, but you are still stuck with that, okay? You want to go back to them? Are uh, They are coming towards you. I don't know. But this is a soulmate connection here. Yeah, look at this. Five of cups. You, you, you felt like... This is a breakup here. I'm also seeing here tears here. Someone is tearing up. It's like you. You are crying. Look at this. You are crying. I'm seeing the blood here. You can see that. This is tears for me. Yeah, you are crying for them. Because this was a painful ending with this person. You are stuck with this person. You want to move forward. You want a new beginning. But it's not happening. And they were not offering you this love. And I feel like you were really isolated. You were uh, really disconnected with this love. You are detaching, you are contemplating that what should I do because you love them. 
Oh my god, this is heavy. Now let's see what's your present energy here, Capricorn, with this person you are dealing with. Universe. It's like you're trying to move on. Okay, you're giving up. You don't want to fight for anymore. King of Swords. This is you. I feel like you cut them out. Or they cut you out. It could be possible. But I feel like you're waiting for the truth. You're waiting for the honest communication. You're waiting for the truth. You're saying to them, Offer me something that is um, that is your waiting for commitment. You're saying to them that I'm here waiting for uh, you. And but where are you? You're not telling your telling me your truth. You're not telling me your true intentions. Where we are going? So it's like you're trying to move on. You're giving up on them because I feel like you're not seeing the success with this person, with this soulmate. They left you. Something happened that you guys are separated. Okay with this five of cups it's really painful ending with this person are you you're trying to end this connection recently are you are trying to do right now okay and with the hermit it's look like you're isolating you're trying to disconnect from this love because they're not coming towards you they're not talking with you uh, there is a less communication here between you two guys okay so this yeah the moon card it could be possible another cancer you're dealing with or it could be possible Scorpio or Pisces. Knight of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. So this person is like in and out in your life. Yeah. Never consistent. Never tell you how they're feeling. Never express their feeling. Never, never. You don't know about this person. That how they're feeling towards you. Okay. Where are you going with this person? Let's see what's the possible outcome with this person. The strength rewards. It could be possible you're dealing with Leo. And also you have Knight of Wands, Lord of Fire. Here is your Sagittarius. Yeah, this person is like in and out in your life. Never consistent. And I feel like you are not... Uh, things are not in your control. And you can't control them even. It's, it's look like this person is really stubborn. It could be possible you're dealing with Taurus. Okay. Yeah, the world. I feel like they're coming towards you in the future, possible future, yeah. They, they are coming towards you, they are communicating with you, they are traveling to see you. Because two parts of travel here, you guys are on the distance from each other. It could be possible you're dealing with Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus, I told you. Some specific sign, fixed sign here for you. If you are dealing with Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or Taurus, or Aries, what I'm seeing here, they're coming towards you. Look at this. They're coming towards you. They have a lot of passion for you. They are, But they are inconsistent. Be aware of that. They are inconsistent. Okay, it could be possible. They. What I'm seeing here, they, it could be possible. They hurt your feelings. They, they just speak the... You know, they, they never speak the truth. And it's really hurting for you. They never speak their emotions and feelings to you. They never speak the truth here. It looks like you can't control them. Things are not in your control, not in your favor. Yeah, you're in the mess. Look at this. Four of Swords here, Reverse here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Someone is not healed here. Oh my God. Three of Swords is also where it could be possible there's a third party situation between you two guys. Okay, yeah. That's why you just left this person or they left you because of the third party situation. Things are really in the mess right now. Not in the balance, not in the balance. And they're high, they're secretive, they're not telling you the truth, they're not ready for this commitment and offer. It could be possible that's why you left them. But the problem is this is soulmate. This is, you have romantic feelings for them. You have a true feeling for them. You feel like this is the one for me and they, they are also in love with you. There is no doubt here. But there is a third party situation. I feel like someone is manipulating this love. Someone is, uh, it could be possible a lot of people are interfering in your love life with this person. This person is inconsistent, the problem is, okay, are they are immature in their feelings. They don't know what to do. 
they don't know they're just in and out in your life and I, I feel like they're coming towards you again they, they, they are communicating with you again okay are you are going toward them are they coming toward you but I feel like this relationship is going with this person is like like repetitive cycle it's not I feel like something is ending very soon with this person are they coming towards you like talking you telling you something what I'm seeing here but I feel like this person is still inconsistent, lack of stability here in your relationship with this person. They're not offering you something stable. They love you. They have feelings for you. They have passion for you. They're inconsistent in and out in your life. They come, they, then they go. They come and then they go. They disappear. They hurt your feelings. It could be possible they ghosted on you. Okay, and they was really abusive to you mentally, physically or or verbally. They said to you that they really hurt you a lot. And I feel like you left them. Now you're detaching from this connection and this love, okay? You don't want to think about them. But the problem is you still are crying for them. You have feeling for them. You're not letting them go properly. Look at this. It looks like you're waiting for them. And they are waiting for you. I feel like they're coming towards you. Okay? Definitely they are coming towards you in the future. Look at this. Okay? They are coming towards you. So you, you have to be wait for them, okay? But I'm, I'm seeing a lack of stability here with this person, inconsistent, immature in feelings, whoever this person is you're dealing with. Okay, you are doing with someone like that, okay? So I hope it resonated with you guys. Like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.